So many people without power, we said News 2's Rebecca Collette to find out what's being done to get people back online and when they will be back on the grid. Good evening. What we learned today is SCENG brought in an additional thousand contracted employees, and employees are working around the clock in 12 hour shifts to get your power up again. The first step for SCENG damage assessment. At the peak of the power problem, 290,000 people were without power. And that's really close to the numbers of outages we saw with Hurricane Hugo, just to give you some context here. It could have been worse if crews hadn't prepared. It's trimming trees. Um, so when you see us come into a neighborhood or a community on a blue, sunny sky day like we see today and trimming trees, what we're really doing is getting ready for those events like we just saw this past weekend. Right now, 50,000 customers are offline and crews must prioritize their work. Where can we make the biggest impact in the shortest amount of time? Where do we have the largest concentrations of customers? And we try to put resources in those places. Until all lines are repaired, SCENG warns customers to stay clear of down lines and ask for a bit of patience to get everyone back on the grid. Even with these crews working around the clock in 12 to 14 hour shifts, it could still be Sunday before your power's back on. That's the deadline SCENG is giving themselves. We're in Ravenel tonight. I'm Rebecca Clutt, News 2. Still a long ways to go. Thanks, Rebecca.